For anyone who isn't aware, I'm studying for the next three <laughs> years at an unconventional university based in Berlin, Germany. It's unconventional in the sense that there are only three courses to choose from. There aren't as many people as at a normal university. And the pretty cool thing is, is that you work on a startup with fellow students alongside studying your course. And I guess it's also unconventional in the sense that the course begins in August. So before flying to Berlin, I, I had to get my life together. Second time lucky? Question mark. It started with accommodation, which unfortunately German universities don't help you with one bit. Stupidly, I left it very last minute to find somewhere to sleep during my studies. And Berlin is notoriously hard for finding accommodation because A, it is expensive and B, everyone is trying to rent a place there. Looking on countless websites and Facebook groups, I eventually found a lead. Okay, this is me checking in. I think I've found an accommodation. It looked very promising. It wasn't in the best of locations, but it was the best I had found. And I booked it. I had my flight booked, but the Pick communication up. from the accommodation no had me no, worried. Nothing, nothing. Brilliant, brilliant communication. In the meantime... I'm just here with my mum and we're headed to get me a few things for Berlin. Hell yeah! <laughs> I can't remember the last time I went shopping. I love it. I think blue is my colour. I think, I think blue is... Looking like James Bond. Drop or drop. I think it's pretty fresh. I'm currently trying to get hold of the people in charge of the um, accommodation. But just having no response. Kept on ignoring my texts and calls. Eventually, they pulled through. Now, the only thing I had to worry about now was packing. Honestly, I feel like I'm having to be a minimalist with all this stuff, and yet, there's still so much. I can't believe I'm literally packing my whole life away. Packing was low-key stressing me out. I had two suitcases to bring, one full of clothes, and the other fitted with my duvet and bedding. At this point, it was starting to properly sink in that I was moving. Honestly, I can't lie. I'm pretty terrified. Like, I'm literally moving to a oh, completely different country all by myself. Good night. See you in the morning. And with that, there was nothing left to do but to fly to Germany. Oh. Right, I'm all set. I've got, I've got the two suitcases, got the, the puffer coat, the hoodie. You know, and I still feel underpacked. I'm gonna miss you so much. literally forever to get here but we made it um, and it looks pretty fresh I, I... let me give you a quick tour this is my room it has a double bed a study space it's pretty standard but it looks nice there's a shared kitchen to well cook and it has a spanky shared bathroom as well I say shared because literally. I actually have two flatmates that I'm living with yes guys uh, this is where I'll be staying for the next six months I can't believe I'm living in Berlin, blowing my mind. And I also can't believe that my gap year is officially over. I think it's only right that I show some of the best moments from my gap year. I took it last minute and it turned out to be the best decision of my life. This was me volunteering in Italy for two months, working with local communities. This was me solo interrailing across eight cities in 17 days. I met lots of cool people and it was one hell of an adventure. And this summer has been full of travel, both to a festival in Portugal and taking buses around Eastern Europe with my best mates. But yeah, I'm so excited to be here in Berlin. Uh, I do need to work on my German, I need to make some friends and I need to get into techno music because they're huge into techno here but I'm excited to share the journey with you guys.